Good morning, everyone. So this is my first, I think, get ready with me. I might have done something similar, but right here I'm putting on my cream for, I don't know, my self-diagnosed vitiligo. We're not sure what it is yet, so I was prescribed this cream and I've been using it every morning. I have seen a difference, but it's going to take some time. And typically in the morning, the first thing I do, I've already washed my face, I've already put my sunscreen on, and now I'm using the Fenty Beauty um, soft matte primer. I've been using this primer since Re came out and I forgot what year it was, but I've been addicted to all of her products and they all just work for me. So once again, I also have the soft matte um, foundation. I've tried a few of her other foundations and I always return back to this soft matte. So I don't think it's meant for me to test out any of the other ones. I've actually wasted money. Like I think she had the easy drop and she had another new one that I tried. And I, I'm just, I don't know, I'm this is old faithful. I don't use a lot. I'm just doing a soft beat for work um, just to remove any blemishes. I don't do a whole lot of, of makeup for work. I know right now it seems like I'm doing a lot and my blending probably doesn't look the best to you, but this gets the job done and this is how I've been doing my makeup um, for years. I don't like a lot of foundation. I just like to have something that, you know, the makeup, no makeup look with a natural look. Another thing that I'm going to be using from Fenty that I know I'm going to be picking up here shortly to show you guys are their matchsticks. I use the color Espresso, and even though I, consider, I have considerably high cheekbones, I always do, um, I always accentuate my cheekbones in the morning. So you're going to see me here lining my cheekbones and I'm going to go ahead and blend that in. I don't even know why I'm looking in that. What am I looking in this drawer for at this point? It might be, oh, okay. I guess I'm doing brows first today. That's, that's a new one. Usually I do, um, my contour, but Maybe I'm showing off for the camera today, who knows? But this is also the Fenty Beauty um, Eyeliner, Brow Eyeliner, well, not eyeliner, but you know what I'm talking about, brow, brow Liner, and it has a little brush on the end. And I have this, and I believe dark brown. I don't think it's the darkest brown, but um, I have pretty dark eyelashes as it is, so I don't have to do too much filling in. So the judgment is coming saying, girl, you're not doing your eyebrows right. This is what I do. This is what works for me. And I always tell people you have to do what works for you. And I've never heard anyone complain about my eyebrows before. So, I mean, hey, this is this is what we're gonna do. Um, also this morning, I know my stomach's probably growling by now because in the morning I'm usually not super hungry, but I'm craving protein because protein is the first, very first thing I put in my body in the morning. I have to start off with protein to make sure I get my intake. And here we go with the matchstick in espresso. I'm pretty sure it's espresso. I just do one line on this cheek. I do one line on the other cheek and I do a few dots on my forehead. And then after that, we're just gonna get to blending, blending, blending until it doesn't look like it's an actual line. And like I said, I have pretty high cheekbones. So with me having the high cheekbones, the blending and doing this, it just makes them look higher. And I feel like it's like an effortless look. Um, I don't know, I've been doing it for a while. I've tried multiple things. I used to use the MAC in the very dark chocolate brown color. I used to use that powder to do my cheekbones. Um, I've tried something else, I think by Anastasia of Beverly Hills in the past. And I've tried like multiple things, but like I said, once Re came out and she dropped these uh, matchsticks, Espresso has been my go-to matchstick for um, contouring. I don't do under eye all the time because I mean, I'm in my 40s and granted, like I, I don't think I have that much of like a noticeable bag under either of my eyes or either of my eyes. So I, I'm kind of over it. I used to do the like the um, the lighter color. I had a lighter color contour stick and I used to do the lighter color under my eyes. And I actually just stopped doing that like a few years ago. I, I don't even know if I ran out of it, but I'm embracing this age. We're just, we're just going to roll with it and we're going to embrace age um, and age gracefully. But like I said, I still have to do somewhat of a light beat.
So here, I, this is from Trader Joe's last, I want to say I got this last year, around this time, and this is their Gummy Bear Lip Gloss. So we're just going to put on some clear gloss, no lipstick, no liner, nothing like that. And then I'm going to use also, this is also from Fenty. Um, I don't even know the color of it. It's one of their newer ones, and it has like a little bit of a shimmer, and it's like a peach color, and it always just brings some life into my skin in the morning. I like to walk into work looking refreshed, so this is what I choose to use to put on my cheeks. I don't even know if you guys can really notice it. It's not clown look, clownish looking, so I'm looking in the camera right now, and it might look a little dark, but once, once you get outside, it doesn't look as clownish. The only other things your girl really does is I put a little bit of black eyeliner on and then I used to love the um better than SEX um what is it mascara but now I mean I'm just what is this called it's the Fenty Beauty one because I'm black I think it's what it's called or I'm just black something like that you you guys get the gist but I use the Fenty Beauty one and it makes my lashes pretty thick and I already think I have pretty full and thick lashes. Now, the reason why I ended up doing this vlog today or this get ready with me today is because I came up with, um, I pretty much had an epiph epiph epiphany, epiphany. Why can't I say that word this morning? Epiphany. And I wanted to share it with you guys in this vlog as I was getting ready. So I was like, why don't I just start from the time that I do my makeup? Hopefully I don't bore you guys. And you can see this is like my every morning Every single morning routine. Um, perfume of choice is, I've been loving Tom Ford Wild Cherry. I, I For the last two weeks, every day I've been wearing this um, at work. And I just realized that I put that over the cream that I just put my vitiligo cream on. So I'm going to reapply the vitiligo cream and that way it's it becomes effective. But the main reason why I wanted to talk to you guys um, this morning was because I've come to the conclusion that I don't think I need to purchase any more perfume. Um, oh, I'm blowing on that. That's for my carpal tunnel scar. I got this silicone um, protectant gel and my scar has been coming along really, really well. You can barely even tell I had surgery. But back to what I was saying, perfume. Um, I've been seeing all these videos about overconsumption on YouTube. And I used to be the person who liked to indulge in overconsumption. Like this is ridiculous. I, I And you, there are people who have way more perfume than this, than than what I'm showing you right now. So way more perfume than these. But um, my issue is I've had a lot of these for years and like some of them barely have dents in them, even though I feel like I was wearing them. Like the tobacco vanilla, that's another scent that I love for fall. That's definitely a fall scent. Um, but this, this year I've been into the wild cherry. So there's the famous Baccarat Rouge. I did, you can see I actually put dents in these perfumes, but guys, I think I'm done buying um, perfume. I love that one too. That's the Killian. Um, I think love don't cost a thing or I don't know. You guys know it. Burberry Her, that's a famous one, but I, your girl is over perfume. It's it's just getting wasteful at this point. And I just think that I, I need to use what I have and we're going to be more mindful. I know we hate that phrase. So the next thing I'm doing is just getting my breakfast for the morning. Um, I don't like, I don't ever, ever like to eat a full, like a crazy breakfast. I like to eat a protein pack breakfast. And when I saw that Target had the new Premier pumpkin spice um, protein shakes, I ran to Target this weekend to go grab them. That's 30 grams of protein. I try to get 30 grams of protein with each meal so right now i'm about to drink my 30 grams of protein and then i went to costco and costco had the nosa or nusa yogurt and the three flavors that they had in that they had cinnamon roll which is amazing i don't even think i've ever seen cinnamon roll sold on its own this is the first year that i've ever tried it and then they also had vanilla bean they also had salted caramel and so i bought two boxes of those but as i was drinking this i was like you know what girl um you forgot your collagen and you forgot your miralax we've already talked about my gi problems over here on this channel so we are we already know your girl has gi problems so whenever i make my shake if i have a shake in the morning the shake is going to include um the collagen and then I'm also gonna add my Miralax to that. And then if I don't have a, sh a shake and I do coffee, then I'll put like the powdered protein inside of my coffee. I'm still adding 
the um, Miralax and I'm still adding the collagen. So that's a must in the morning. Like this is, this is an every morning thing. And then also whatever I have left in my Stanley cup, because I fill my Stanley cup at night before I go to bed to take my medication. So whatever I have in my Stanley cup, I try to basically suck that down before I go to work and then continue my water intake during the day because you know h2o is also important but um yeah if you get a chance make sure that you go to costco if you have one near you and try that the fall batch of yogurt you will not be disappointed and if you're a pumpkin spice girly like me you will definitely enjoy the pumpkin spice um protein shake by by premiere because baby i'm telling you this this drink is got all the pumpkin and it got all the spice and i am definitely happy that i get it i got it um i usually like the cake batter one and or there's a cinnamon roll one but we're in fall it fall is here and we're pumpkin spice everything at this point so i really hope that you enjoyed oh i gotta get to work i really hope that you guys enjoyed this get ready with me and i hope you like and subscribe and come back for some more and i'll be sharing some more with you in the future have a good day and have the rest a good rest of your week bye talk to you later